In this tutorial, you will see an example of how to add or remove spots on the gel images analyzed with PDQuest software and how to do that strategically by using Edit Spot Tools and Group Consensus Tools. Including or excluding the protein spots within the gel analysis after the spots have already been detected and matched can compromise comparisons between the spots on the gels and may lead to distorted quantitative and qualitative results of your experiment. First, let's practice how to remove gel artifacts from the gel images. Open an experiment file that you created in Tutorial 1, PDQuest Workflow. We would like to view, side by side, the Master Gel and the 42 degree Number 2 Gel. Go to View, Toolbar, View Tools, and click on the icon that looks like four squares. In the Selection table, highlight 42 degree Number 2 Gel, set Windows to 2, and check the Show Master box, then click Apply. Zoom in on the area close to the center of the gel to see the details. Notice that there is a bubble on this gel. Press F5 or select View, Spot, Show Crosshairs. To see how PDQuest software detected this spot-like feature within the gels, point to the crosshair inside the bubble, then select the Report pop-up graph, or click F10 on your keyboard, to select the artifact. Notice that if the spot-like artifact were matched to a spot on the master gel, the pop-up graph will show its SSP number and the histogram. To remove the artifact on the gel image, click the Edit Spot Tools on the Quick Guide to open this collection of spot editing tools. First, let's use the Remove Spot tool. It can be used to remove spots that are associated with a defect on a single gel, such as a bubble or a tear. Click the Remove Spot at Cursor button and point to the bubble spot on the gel. This will remove the spot entirely. Alternatively, you can cancel the spot. Canceling the spot will remove it from the analysis, but PDQuest software will still remember its location. The spot can be restored by clicking on the Restore Spot icon and pointing to the canceled spot. Use the Add Spot tool with great caution. Add a spot only when there is significant information to support your decision to manually force a spot into the analysis process. By forcing the individual spots into the process, you will compromise the consistency of your experiment. To maintain the integrity of the data analysis, spots should be added or removed using the Group Consensus tool. The purpose of the Group Consensus tool is to reveal possible spot detection errors by using spot matching information across all the gels within a replicate group. Overall, gel images within the same replicate group should be very similar and gels in different replicate groups will be less similar. The Group Consensus tool allows the software to address the experimental anomalies and correct your experiment data accordingly. Select this tool from the Quick Guide or from the Analyze menu. Select the 30 degree replicate group and click Done. To view the entire gel image, click on the first icon on the View Tools bar. The consensus summary indicates how many spots are detected and matched on a single gel, on two gels, or on three gels in the group. Ambiguous spots are those that are mismatched due to a close proximity to each other on one or more gels. Selecting a cell in the consensus summary table allows you to visualize those spots on the gel images. It is useful to first analyze the most obvious anomalies. Click on the two gels cell and using the arrow, advance through the spots on the gel images. Notice that PDQuest software uses symbols to indicate the spots being reviewed on each gel. The yellow crosshairs refer to spot centers of detected protein spots. Blue triangles refer to spots matched to the master gel image, and red triangles refer to spots that are not matched to the master gel image. Blue circles are used to indicate where on a gel a particular spot is missing or undetected when compared to the other spots on other gels in the replicate group. Use the manual spot editing buttons to add, remove, or combine spots. For example, here is the spot that should be removed. At any time during spot editing, you can click the Update Consensus button 
to have the changes you have made take effect and see if the consensus value of the group has improved. Once you have finished your review with the consensus tool, you have cleared the errors in detection and matching of the protein spots and have improved data quality in your experiment.